Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this week's edition of Show Us Your Kits here at Hobbies Australia. I'm Andrew, and this morning we're gonna have a look at a new offering from Academy that'll be landing in our country in about two weeks, and that is their 130 second scale F4E Phantom, their kit number uh, 12133. So let's jump straight into this huge offering from Academy. So here we have it, 130 second scale United States Air Force F4 E uh, from the Vietnam era up until about the uh, the mid 80s are, are the various offerings within this kit. Big glossy artwork that we'd expect from Academy, uh, loads of information on the side of the box and we'll just flip that around. So things like all the paint offerings, uh, the various brands, the colours, etc. Flip that over. We can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different decal offerings uh, that are included in the set and on the ends of the box are just standard um, replications of the box art, so there's no point to have a look at those. Okay, so let's open up the box, and what we're going to see in here is 13 odd sprues uh, with about 300 odd um, parts in here. Now, loads and loads of plastic, which we'll have a look at those in a minute. Okay, digging down, digging down, digging down. What I'm looking for of particular interest is the instructions and we'll also have a look at the decals. So, instruction booklet, A4. Um, as I said, all the paint call-outs, the brands, the numbers, etc., represented there. Um, and here we have what is a very, very substantial and comprehensive instruction booklet for what's going to be a very large and imposing model when it's finished. There are lots and lots of options in this kit, so I would suggest if you purchase this, you get it home, get yourself a cup of coffee, a drink, whatever, sit down and go through this instruction booklet to decide what are the options, what variant you're going to make, and then you can highlight the various options through the instruction booklet that you will need to focus on to make the, the model that's relevant for what you're looking at. So what we've got is a 28 page booklet from the people at Academy and it covers off some 52 odd construction sets, uh, steps, I beg your pardon, uh, and we can see all the various bits and pieces as we flick through here, all the various weapon options. Um, I'll just go back there. You have two sets of uh, undercarriage wheels supplied in this kit. You can either have the, the normal rounded or they've also given you the flattened and bulged, which is a nice uh, step. They give you a couple of turned metal parts that are in here for pitot tubes for the for the nose cone and also for some of the one of the, the fairings on the side underneath the cockpit. Really nicely done. But as you can see here, there's loads and loads of option for what particular variant of aircraft that the modeler wants to make. We then come into the decaling options and as you can see here loads and loads of information. Very, very busy decal sheet. We'll have a look at that in a moment, but there are some really, really nice representations uh, of the F4E. First four variants uh, in the decaling options are for the United States Air Force. We then come to one option for the South Korean Air Force, and then the final couple of variants are for the Japanese Air Self-Defense Force. Some really nicely done aircraft there. And as you can see, on these instructions, very, very busy. So very much a kit where you're gonna to have to measure twice and cut once when it comes to applying your decals. But all in all, very, very nicely done. There's our sprue layout. As I said, some 13 odd sprues, 300 plus parts. This kit can chase its, um, or sorry, this kit can trace its heritage back to the Ravel kits of the 70s. Um, and what we see here from Academy is this is their first attempt at the at the Phantom in the larger scale. They've done a really, really nice job. We'll have a look at some of the sprues in a moment, but then we can start going through the bits and pieces. Just quickly though, we'll have a look here at the decal set and hopefully that's not gonna to be too glary for you. But as you can see, very, very busy sheet. Lots of small um, parts or, or small decals there for the various weaponry, for panels, for, for markings on the airframe really, really uh, intricate, and it's gonna take quite a little bit of preparation and a little bit of planning to make sure that you get the biggest bang for your buck. Um, if I flick that over, what the people at Academy have also incorporated, 
uh, is a sheet of some 30 odd remove before flight tags. And that's a very, very nice little option. Then of course we've got those couple of, of uh, turned brass metal parts. So let's have a look at some of the sprues um, from this kit and just see um, what all the hype is about. So we've seen this year from the likes of Tamiya, from Zuki Mora, the announcement and release of a number of F4 Phantoms, but they've been in the 148 scale. Academy offering in 132, even though it is an older mold, uh, this kit's gonna retail for about $159. But if you're a fan of large scale aircraft, this Academy F4 really does tick a lot of boxes. Now, if we look here at the parts, at the sprues, and Ryan, of course, will as always get some close-ups, we can see here the panel line that have been um, molded into the kit. So there's some really, really nice touches that the guys at Academy have, have done with these. Even though the molds are a little bit old, they've cleaned them up, we've seen some inclusions of some um, some newer things in there, like, as I said, the, the turn brass parts, a very, very full and comprehensive decal sheet. Looking here at some of the, the fuel tanks, rocket rails, uh, really, really large, which is good. It allows you to, to do as much detailing as the individual modeler feels comfortable doing. So you can build it straight out of the box by all means, but there's plenty of option here to add your own touches to it. So we'll look at the cockpit tub, we'll look at the wheel wells, that sort of thing. They really do scream out if you want to, to get in there and do some, some additional detailing, uh, brake lines, that sort of stuff. Certainly a, a kit with the scale that it is, it's large enough to do this without really sort of going crazy, trying to do something um, something over the top. And that piece has come a bit loose, but as we can see there, cockpit panels, we've got raised detail on there, but again, with the various aftermarket details that are available and also with scratch building, um, the modeler can do as much as he or she feels comfortable doing. Here we have the cockpit section and it's quite interesting because of the size of the aircraft that they split um, the after part of the fuselage from the forward part of the fuselage. And I guess that's indicative of the size of this model. Again, there's some interior detailing work. You can see there on the inside of the cockpit tub, it's fairly clean. A couple of little knockout marks there, but they're at the underside and they're gonna be hidden by the nose wheel um, assembly. So that's all good. So there's nothing untoward there or onerous that's gonna cause you a lot of heartache, which is great to see. I did make mention of the wheels and as you can see here, pilot seats, uh, that sort of stuff, but we've got the two wheels. Okay, so fully rounded or these ones here, where they've been flattened and bulged. So, you know, a couple of nice little options there. Big chunky tail arrestor hook. Look here at some of the weaponry, the missiles. Okay, and it actually shows you in the painting and marking options, uh, there's a couple of the airframes are fitted with, with training missiles and it shows you or calls out what colour you should paint them if you want to have these as, a, as an inert training round. So again, a nice little feature there, attention to detail, that the guys from Academy uh, are synonymous for. Have a look here at the lower wing and the wheel wells. Okay, as you can see there, there's a scope for additional detailing if you would have liked to do that. Uh, if not, build it straight out of the box. Uh, as I made mention, Initially, when you get this home and you check it all out, you want to work out what variant you're going to build because there are a number of holes for the munition load that you need to drill out. So it's really important that you identify very early, uh, even before you start construction, which particular variant uh, you're going to build. Wing tops, panel lines, rivet detail, um, really, really nicely done. I guess finally, um, just have a look here at the, the transparent parts. Now, this is something that I've been talking about with recent models, uh, is the, you know, the size of the canopies. Um, I've become very much uh, a big fan of the deluxe materials range of products, things like their looks like glass. A big canopy like this absolutely calls out for treatment with looks like glass. It just increases um, the clarity, I guess, is the word I'm looking for, of the canopy, so you can look in to the cockpit tub and see what's going on in there. Um, something like this screams out to use the glue and glaze um, product from also from Deluxe Materials. And as you can see here, we have a very 
fine point applicator that comes with the product. Really, really nicely uh, done those items from Deluxe Materials and there's a whole range of adhesives and fillers that those guys manufacture that are really uh, top-notch products and I would recommend Deluxe Materials to any modeler uh, of any uh, experience level because it really is some great stuff. So yeah, so there's the canopies, big, as we would expect for a 130 second scale aircraft. Um, you know, there are masks out there from the likes of Edward, if you would like to use those to get your panel line, your, sorry, your, um, your canopy uh, frame lines spot on, or of course you can make those yourself out of, out of masking tape. But yeah, look, all honesty, $159 for a 130 second scale Phantom um, is, is pretty good. Um, there it is. Academy's kit ACA12133, retailing for $159, arriving in Australia over the next couple of weeks. So it should be available in retail stores and through online retailers in Australia by the end of September, definitely by the October long weekend, barring any delays um, through shipping. Really, really strongly suggest if you get the opportunity, as I said, to get into a retail store, have a look for these kits very nicely done. Likewise, check them out online. Um, as always, um, stay safe, take care. Uh, look forward to hearing from you either by, the, by phone or by email. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button um, so we can uh, keep these videos coming out to you. And till next time, I'm Andrew from Hobbies Australia. Stay safe, take care, and of course, build lots more kits. Bye guys.